Good morning, everyone. This is Cheryl. Um, I am here today to do a, a video on something completely new, actually very new to me. Um, so let's jump right in and I'll show you what we're going to do today. And I'm also going to share with you some other things. Um, so here is the prototype. And it is, we're calling it a suspender tag because it's made like a tag with this suspender clip or whatever you call it. And it uh, looks like what comes off of like a pair of overalls, you know, like that hook and then this adjustable thing. And uh, I've only ever seen it done by one other person. And I have never made one until I made this one. And this one is done in denim and lace, as you can see. And uh, it's it was really fun to make. It didn't take very long to make. And it functions in, in a journal kind of like a bookmark. And that's the only use that I can think of for it, other than just, just a decoration, you know, just a fun... Thing. I guess you could actually put a strip of paper behind here if you wanted to, and you could make it a writable thing. I'm not going to do that. I, I like it just the way it is. I like it as just a fun thing in a journal. And this one, of course, is a fun theme of, first of all, denim and lace is fun. And then the beach theme, the seashore. So that's the prototype. The one I'm going to do today is a little different. I'm going to do a vintage style, which is uh, what I saw done um, originally in the in the video that I watched. Um, so I've cut some fabric, and and what I did was, you know, you have to have these things. You can order these on Amazon. I think you can buy them at Hobby Lobby sometimes, or you know, in a craft store. Um, or not a craft store, fabric store, you know, check out your fabric stores locally to see if you can find them. Sometimes they do because people sew and they make things and they need hardware on some of the things. So this came in a pack of four off of Amazon. They were very, you know, inexpensive. And, uh, I've already lost the other two somewhere in my sea of belongings that I put everything away in a very nice place. And then I forget where I put them. So somewhere in here, I have two more, but anyway, luckily I have this one. And so what you do first is you get a little piece of paper. I just took a little piece of cardstock. You know, on the first one, I just typed out some words on the computer, different words for different things, and then I cut it out and I put it in there. I just, you know, you just glue it in there. There's a little ridge. Just stick it in there and glue it. Okay. On this one, I didn't, my husband has the computer now. So the other computer, which has Word on it, which is how I do it. So what I did on this one was I just took a piece of cardstock and I wrote the word journal and I just, I don't even have it glued. I just have it stuck in here so that you could see that you can put any word in there. And so it would have a word. Later I'll fix it up the way I want it. But anyway, for this purpose of this video, I just wrote it. And you could, you could hand write it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I do, I do that sometimes on wor for words in my journals when I put them on tags and things like that. So I have a piece of muslin, just a piece of cotton muslin. You could use any fabric you like. As you can see, I on the first one I used denim, and uh, I actually, I actually used. Um, this little thing. I had not seen that done, but I decided to put it on there on this one so that it would just look like a little, you know, you can just imagine a little piece, a little um, <laughs> strap, 
<laughs> on some overalls. And these guys look like they have denim on, so I thought they went perfect and it just all came together, you know. So, but on this one, I'm not going to use this piece. You don't have to use this piece, and I'm not going to use it because I'm going to do it a different style. And, and I cut, actually tore this piece of fabric. Um, it is about... 16 and a half inches long. And so when you fold it, you know, when it's folded over, you're going to have it about eight inches and it's going to be perfect, like in the length of most journals that you do. You can make it any length you want it. You can make it longer. You can make it shorter. I don't care what you do. <laughs> you know, you can, you can do what you want. Um, so, um, for this one, I'm going to do vintage style. And um, so uh, this is our base. And, uh, you know, the other day, um, Nivea gave us a free digital. And she created that digital, and it's awesome. And I wanted to, you know, I wanted to honor that the fact that she made something and was giving it to us for free. So many of you saw my post. I did this, um, hope you can see it. I did this tag and I did it vintage style. I love the colors of it, you know, the colors of the digital. And I happen to have these flowers, which I got at Hobby Lobby and not in the craft section. I got them in the, in the fall stuff. You know how they have aisles with all this fall stuff, uh, like napkins and paper plates and table confetti and different things. Well, they had these flowers that came in a pack like this. And they're stickers. And I just took the foam thing off of it and just glued it down. So there's that. But anyway, I did it vintage style. And uh, I so appreciate... Nivea giving us a free digital. You know, I never take it for granted when someone gives me something for free. Uh, you know, and I wanted to, I wanted to do something special to show her th that I, that I appreciate her giving us that. So I want to challenge you to find that post, download it, and make something uh, just to to encourage her to show her that we love what she did. I, I love it. And uh, so anyway, there's that. So I'm going to, I printed out another copy and I, I changed the size of it. So now I have this little picture and I'm gonna use it on here as well. And I have all kinds of laces that I've picked out. This one is like this beautiful peachy colored lace that I thought went really well with the colors. And then I have some cream color. And then I have all these goodies. And I was wishing that this little thing would have been the right size, you know, to put down here, whatever. I guess I, add, I, guess I could if I really wanted to, but... I feel like it might be too heavy, too, too much for there. And I've been hoarding it. Someone sent it to me and I love it. And I've been hoarding it for just the right purpose. And someday I will find just the right purpose. So I have some other things. I have these little pink flowers that might go on there. You know, I don't know. We'll see. I have some other little trims. I love I know this is really white, but we can vintage that up. And I like the contrast anyway sometimes. So there's that. Of course, there's this. And I have many other things, but I just pulled a few. Had these little flowers and bows and little things. And, and I have tons more, but I have these in the bag because as I clean up, my desk sometimes I just throw stuff in a little bag and then it ends up like that have this little I don't know little something something 
So here we go. <clears throat> this is completely like unplanned. I haven't thought about it. I have other laces here. They're white, but that's okay because there's white in uh, Nivea's uh, digital and white and cream. It's just all white. You know what I mean? It's like it contrasts and it sets it off. And we can also use vintage photo to vintage it up if we need to. So here it is. It's on here. It's just folded through the through the little thing at the bottom. And there it is. And so now I'm going to start auditioning. Uh, I'm going to audition. Oh, look at that. Piece is already cut. And it's almost the right length. So what we do is lift up this piece. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. I always worry about that. So I try, I'm trying to be better at staying in frame. Let me check. Am I in the frame? I think I am. I'm trying to be better about that. It's really, uh, it's a little bit of a challenge. So I get, I noticed in my last video, I got a little out of frame certain times and I don't want to do that. I don't mean to do that. So if we lay our lace down, I like to addition things, you know, I like to lay it out instead of deciding and cutting everything before, you know, I've decided what I'm going to do. I like to audition it. So there's that peachy color. And if this were on there, you know, I don't know what we're going to do here. Do I want it on both sides? Oh, no. I like a little bit of variety myself. And I have pink lace, but I don't know. I kind of, like I said, I kind of like contrast. You know, I kind of like the. And this would actually have to go on the top because it has, you know, because of how it is. I don't know if I like it on there or not. Do I like it on there with something else in between? I don't know. Maybe not. Not enough room. So maybe not that. Um, how about this? Um, how about this? I pulled this. How about this cut and glued on the top? so that it kind of adds texture and just a little bit of, mm, look at that, and cut it off, you know, to fit, and then put some other kind of lace on the other side. Wouldn't that be pretty? I mean, this is like very sheer and very beautiful, and someone gifted it to me. I'm trying to remember. It might be you, Nivea. <laughs> It might have been you that gifted it to me. I don't know. You've gifted me some really pretty things, and I appreciate them so much. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut that to go on there. And I'm going to cut it probably a little bit big and not straight here to begin with because want to get it cut so oh I love that look at that I'm gonna love that on there so pretty so pretty so I'm gonna take about a quarter of an inch off of it and uh, I think that's going to be the ticket. I think that is going to give it that something, something that we're looking for, don't you? And uh, so there's that. Now I need some other lace on the other side. I want it to be flat. This is very flat lace, and I love that, and yet it's so pretty. And I have like a ton of laces guys I have like a ton of laces that people have sent me or that I found at the you know at the thrift stores I have this pink 
I don't know if I want pink and peach together. I don't, I don't know. I'm looking, I'm actually looking for like a creamy color. Don't know if I'm gonna find it. Maybe this, ah, maybe this. I don't know, let's try it. Let's see. I went to a yard sale the other week and there was a seamstress. It was in my own neighborhood. It was a seamstress, fifth generation seamstress. And she was just clearing out stuff. And I bought, oh, that's nice, isn't it? And I bought like a, a bunch of laces and seam, not seam binding. I don't know what you call it. Uh, the lacy stuff that's like this in all different colors. Oh, whole bag of it. Just she stuffed it in a bag and said, Here, you know, and gave me, gave it all to me for a certain price. I love it. Not cutting it longer because you just never know. Better to have too much than not enough than to find out you didn't cut it enough. So, so now, you know, you could actually sew this on. I'm not going to do that. I might sew it. I might sew one someday, you know, and make it that way. But for the sake of doing this on camera, there's just no way I'm getting my sewing machine out. So I'm going to glue it with Fabri-Tac because that is a fabric glue. And uh, it's my favorite glue because it works and it doesn't make things lumpy bumpy unless you glob it on here you know and then you can't and then you don't spread it out so what I do I'm putting just a tiny little bead all the way down okay then I'm gonna smoosh it very technical term smooshing lay the lace on here and there you go. Okay. Later, I'm going to cut off the excess. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I think this is going to turn out really nice. I like it. At first, I thought, oh, after doing one with color, you know, like with denim and lace and the sea colors and the, and the bright denim. And, and I've done some things lately with boho, you know, then I... I was like, oh, I don't know if I can go back to vintage, but vintage has its place too. And it's beautiful. And I'm starting to love it already. So that's a good thing. So there we go. So we've auditioned it. And now we have glued it in there. And we are making sure it is where we want it. Let's make sure we've got this in here where we want it. Maybe I should take it in just a tiny bit while it's still tacky. Like that. Okay. While it's still, while the glue is still tacky, you have time. All right, so there we go. So there is that. Oh, I like that. I'm liking it. I'm liking it, guys. And so I'm cutting off the excess. And there, so far, we have that. And I love it already. Do you love it? Oh, I love it. So this is going to really add something. Look at that. That just brings it up a notch to me. So what I'm going to do, this is a very sheer... You know, so you're really going to have to not use a ton of glue to get something like this on. So what I do when I glue something like this is I just very, very, it, it's just not going to take much at all. And I'm just barely putting any glue around the edges. Basically around the edges is where I'm going with it. Maybe just a just like this little tiny, tiny, tiny dab through the center. Then I'm going to lay it on there. 
press it down. You do want it to stick. I mean, you don't want to have it falling off, but at the same time, you don't want to glob glue on there, you know. Oh, so pretty. I'm loving this. So can you see that? Look at that. It takes it up a notch. Look at the stitching. It's shiny. It adds a little sparkle, and I love that. Oh, I love that. So now what I'm going to do, I want to not make the same mistake that I made on the first tag. On the first one, the mistake that I made on it was I did not, I forgot completely. I thought about it, and then I got so excited about putting it together that I forgot to back this piece of paper onto something harder to make it more sturdy, like cardstock. But after I had it together, I thought I'm not tearing it apart, you know. So I'm going to back this little piece of paper with this photo onto cardstock just to make it a little sturdier and not such a, I might even leave a little white border. And I'm going to cut it out. There we go. And I'm leaving that little white border. And then I'm going to vintage it up, you know, with vintage photo. Because in vintage, that's what we do. We make it white, and then we make it brown. All right. So there we go. And that is going to go on there. Oh, I love it already. I love it. I love it. Now, before I glue anything down, we're going to figure out, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to put. What else I'm going to put on there? And I looked at this and I just thought, wow, look at that. Now, it's, it's really bright white. So again, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. It's true. Just a little, I'm not doing it a ton. I'm not making it look, you know, like it doesn't belong there. But I'm just bringing it down a notch and I think that did it, you know. I think that that, just daubing it a little bit and this is permanent ink, this is not oxide. Does everybody know the difference between oxide and ink? Like Tim Holtz has distress oxides and distress Inks. Ink is permanent. Ink is not going to move if water hits it, you know. So if you're going to make something wet with glue or whatever, uh, you want to use ink. But if you're doing mixed media and you want to put some brown on there and then some green on top of that and you're going to add water, it's going to, it's going to oxidize and it changes color when it oxidizes. And that's how you get that teal look in some of the mixed media stuff that I've done. That's how I get that teal look and, you know, that aged patina kind of look. So oxides will change and move and smear with water, but inks will be permanent, you know. And I do not know what that little dot is, but we're leaving it because I'm not messing up this. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to do that. And... I'm trying to think what I can put behind her. What do you think? I wish I could hear ya. Um, I was thinking, well, actually I could decorate up here and down here. And, uh, and in the meantime, in the meantime, and I could think about what I'm going to, do behind her. If anything, I don't know, maybe it all, look at this, it's like a peachy color. Look at that. Mm, got two of them. I want to put one near her. I don't know. Is it too big? I don't know. I want to put a little bow. Possible possibilities we have possibilities we have options and we love options don't we I have this little hmm, I don't know 
was not bright enough for me. Oh, look at this, and it matches. Like what I did earlier. Look at that. Look at that. Look, guys. Are you seeing it? Can you see? 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 So these can be a matching set in a journal, like, you know, and kind of takes on that. I think, do I still want to do that up there? I don't know. Do I have another one of those? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. That was probably a one of a kind thing. But we will find something to decorate up. How about some, per how about a bead dangle? I could do a bead dangle here. A small little bead dangle attached with a, just like I did on this one. I did just a charm, but I could do that. I could do a little heart charm. I have some that are uh, vintage -y color, you know, and I could do that on a ball pen right up here. I could do this here. I could do some little flat back pearls. Oh, I'm liking that idea. So let me see if I can find my little pearls here. I have little ones and I have big ones. So I don't know. I'm gonna get them out and take a look. I have this color. I have this color. So I have pink, pinky ones. And I have the white. I kind of like the white. Pretty classy looking. I always like three together. Or five. Five looks nice. Oh, I'm liking the way this looks. Let's see. I'm going to go with three because I just like it. It just seems like it's just the right amount. Y'all think so? And look, I can cover up that little speck that I didn't like there. Eventually I'll glue those down. So, boy, got all these out and didn't need to. I like this right away. So, there we go with that. And I think I'm going to like a little piece of this. Or maybe a little piece of this. Oh, look at this. Maybe a little piece of this at the bottom. Behind that little heart. You know, um, let me see what happens if I do this. Don't have to use it. That's what's that's the great part of auditioning stuff. Don't have to use it, but it might just add that little something, something too much. It needs to come up first, so it needs to be shorter. I don't want it to hang down too too low on this one. Look at that. Oh, look at that, guys. I'm loving that. Okay, so if you can bear with me, I'm going to get a little heart and a bulb pen. And I'm going to try and talk to you while I'm doing it. I think I know where they are. Oh, i got to find out. I should have thought about it ahead of time. I did not think about it ahead of time. So I have my, I have my, all my little cases here of uh, stuff. Ooh, and I'm really, let's see. I have a button that might add some sparkle. Should I sew on a button? Oh, it's beautiful there. Oh, I might just like that instead. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I wish you could answer me right now while I'm doing this. I don't want to overdo it and take away from the look of the lace. Um, 
I have all kinds of stuff. Or I could do a little key and a little heart once I find my little hearts. Where are my little hearts? Does this happen to you? Where you have things everywhere and you just don't know where it all is. Not in there. Okay, I have some hearts. I have that key. I like the key. I like the button. I really like it. I don't know where my hearts are. Hang with me. And if I can't find it, I'm going to use what I have, you know, because stuff gets. Ah, maybe they're in here. Here they are. I found them. I found them. Look at there. I found my little string of hearts, and I can take one of those off, and I can put it on even with the key, maybe. I don't know. Maybe with the key. I'm so unprepared. Forgive me for that, because I just wasn't... I wasn't thinking in that direction. And then suddenly I thought about that. So I have these little hearts. I bought these at uh, probably at Joann's or Hobby Lobby, one of the two, wherever they sell these little strings of, you know, charms. So I have that, put that back together. Okay, so I have that, and uh, that would look cute, you know, on a ball pen, maybe with a little bead, I don't know, or a pearl, or maybe the key, maybe the key, let me, I don't know, let me look. All right, so here we go. Sorry, I'm jumping all around, uh, but this is the process, guys. This is how it happens for me. And this is how I audition stuff, you know? This is just how I do it. So if I were to put that, well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna lay it up there. If I were to put these, I don't know if I'm gonna like how they're on there how they're going to lay. Oh, I think they'll be all right. Look at that. Look at that. If I put it up there, it's going to be like that. This is going to be like this. And I like it. So I think that's what I'm going to do because it's super cool looking. What do you think? You guys like it? Okay. This and this can be changed because I'm only going to pin that on there if I decide later I just want the heart and maybe a pearl or some other thing, then I can do that. That's not an issue. This, I have to be sure that I like this and I think that I do because this is behind here and I actually don't think I need to add anything else behind this little photo. This little flower is perfect. These are perfect for down here. And I just think, you know, that it is going to be good. So I'm going to glue this down. And you know, when your glue gets down to the wire, you get this, you get this glue bubbling going on. I hate that, but I need to go get some glue. And I was just out, but I didn't think of it. You know, I didn't realize how low I was. So I'm just going to put a little glue across here. You know, just going to just going to do that. Put that on there. Did I glue this down? I did. Okay. It's 
It's going to be glued down now because this heart is going on there. Somebody gifted me these beautiful things. And the lace I bought, but the top lace was gifted to me. I think Nivea gave me that. I think she did. And I love it. But somebody gave me this little applique. I think it was in a swap at some point. And I'm just now using them. So I'm going to cut these apart because I don't like that little plastic showing. I mean, it's easier to put them down. But I don't really like that plastic showing. So I'm going to... I'm going to cut them apart. I know I wouldn't have to, but I'm going to put these three little dots there. I'm going to try to cut all this plastic stuff off of there. I mean, I know it's clear, but I don't know. I don't know. And I'm probably not going to cover up that little dot now, but you know what? I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it, guys. It's the overall look is vintage and beautiful. And it looks like something that, that was, that could have been laying on grandma's dresser you know a long time ago something that she created maybe for her own personal journal or just little mementos that she put together doesn't it does to me does to me all right did your grandma have pretty things like this? I think they did. They had like not as many as we do, but they saved things and made pretty things. There we go. I'm putting it right there. You know, this pen is not really sharp. This must be an old one real with real rust on it. I don't know. But there we go. It's pinned on there. And I can fiddle with it later, but I think it looks really good. So there it is. And what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments if you like it. And if you would be interested in doing one of these, and, and you see it didn't take me that long. Even unprepared, it really didn't take me all that long. So there they both are. Can you see them? Gosh, I want you to be able to see them. And there they are. I'm thinking that these would make a great swap. What do you all think? I think that they would make a great thing, easy thing. I mean, almost everybody can can come across these either online on Amazon, which is where I got mine, or in the, a fabric store. And then the rest is just things that we work with all the time in junk journaling. So... These are probably things that you already have in your stash, your digitals, your charms, your flowers, your buttons, your laces, you know, everything. So leave a comment if you think that this would be a great swap. Jennifer Thomas, what do you think? Nuvia, what do you think? Um, I love it. Um... I'd love to make another one. I'd love to find the other two things that I put away so safely in such a organized place, you know. And when it gets organized, why do I have trouble finding things then? 
So anyway, let me know. And before I go, let me set these aside. Oh, I love them both. I actually love them. I have another idea that I'm toying with, talking about, because Nivea posted a a little flip through video from Instagram a little while back and it was a butterfly journal and you might remember that little video somebody doing a flip through on Instagram of her butterfly journal and we all seem to love butterflies they keep showing up in happy mail and on tags and in swaps and so um so I decided to try my hand at putting together a pattern and a and a putting together a signature just like that ladies you know like a, a butterfly shaped journal so this is what I've come up with right here this is just this is just the beginning it's not decorated it's you know I'm using papers that I didn't care about and just playing with the shape so what I did was I got online and I and I downloaded a butterfly uh, pattern, like a just a template for a butterfly shape, and I changed the size of it and I enlarged it, and then it still wasn't large enough. I, I don't know, it just wouldn't. I couldn't get it. So what I what I did was I made it as large as it would go. For whatever reason, I can't imagine why it wouldn't go any further, but it didn't. It's probably a uh, computer user problems. But anyway, I, then I printed it out and I drew. I, I laid it on a piece of copy paper and I drew it larger in this in the same exact shape. And then from there, I just cut my papers. It It is, and this is like the center of it. You know, the center of it, I put a... A little butterfly in there just because I like to make the center of a signature so this is basically one signature it's just a it's a journal and this is the cover but it's basically let's see one two three four five six seven it's eight pages so it is basically one signature and I just used papers, you know, like from a paper pack that I didn't even really like that much. I put some gold splatters. I was going to decorate it all up before I showed all of you this. But, you know, no time like the present. I'm just going to put it out there so you can think about it and think whether you would, would like to do it. Because it's super easy, super fast, and it wouldn't take me very long at all if I could just get the time, you know, away from other things family and stuff to just decorate it. This was a piece of the same paper pack as this, but it had a white side. So I just decoupaged napkin. I stamped underneath and vintaged it up with vintage photo and then I decoupaged napkin to, to make a backing on it. This is uh, avocado dyed paper, more scrapbook paper, coffee dyed paper, music paper this is more of the scrapbook paper this I left white and I probably would decorate it and then this is a page like a digital that I printed onto cardstock that had this color backing so you could do all kinds of things and I I did put some pom-poms here and some lace here to leave it hang out to show you what you can do like and there would be lace and appliques and in the in the video she had laces and different things everywhere on the pieces and it when it was closed and then she had it decorated on the front I think which so there is that and it's sewn together three home pamphlet stitch very easy of course just like you sew together any other uh, journal and I and it was super easy because it's all like just one signature, you know. And I left the strings long because I wasn't sure if I was going to put beads on there or whatever. I always do that. Then I even made a pattern 
but I changed the shape a little bit for the next one that I do. I didn't want to use my good papers. So that's why I'm doing it all with papers I didn't care about because, and it didn't have to match and it didn't have to be really that pretty because this is just like a prototype to get the, get it the way I want it. So when I looked at it, I thought, well, this is a pretty butterfly shape, but some of them, you know how every butterfly is a different shape and I liked I like it when they come out and go down and around and then they're more straight up this way. So I actually drew another one that I, I when I make mine with my Stamparia paper, which is double sided, which is a good thing to use if you, you know, because then you've got all your papers, you know, they're pretty right from the beginning. You don't have to make any of them pretty with stenciling or anything. And uh, so, Anyway, I changed the shape. I also did one that I'm going to do later, which is done like a regular book. I actually made a little spine. And it will hold two signatures, and they will be sewn in. And it'll be more like a, you know, like a, a, a regular journal. And I don't know exactly when I'm going to do that. I have two sets of pretty paper that are kind of shabby chic because with roses and they're kind of shabby looking, you know, those that kind of style because I think that goes well with the butterfly theme. And there's butterflies, I think a lot of butterflies in one of them, so I don't know. But I already did the cover. It's not covered, of course, but it's constructed. And I'm going to going to do that. So I just wanted to share that with you while I'm on here and put it out there as, you know, we'd like to know uh, if you would like to do a butterfly. That We could do the simple one because it's very easy, very beginner friendly. All you have to do is, is use a pattern and cut all of your pieces the same shape, you know, the butterfly shape. And then decorate it as you please and I just wanted to know if you were interested all of us uh, all the admins and the mods we're interested in whether you want to do this as a swap you know if you're interested uh, let us know about that leave a comment below sometimes I say that and people never leave a comment so I don't know what that means does it mean like you're just like not listening all the way to the end or does it mean that you're just I don't know what does that even mean but anyway if you can please leave a comment uh, do you like the tag idea do you want to do it as a swap do you like the butterfly journal idea do you is that a future swap we don't have to do it right now but I'm just saying do you want to do it I I want to do it so anyway um, that's all for today. Let us know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy and, and see how easy these are. And you can decorate these any way you want to. You know, you don't have to do everything exactly like me. I, I do my own thing. You know, I, I do it where it's pleasing to my eye. And I know that everyone is different. So you can, you can make these however you want to make them. This is my favorite. This, These are my favorite. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I would choose now. I thought I was going to like this one better than this one, but it turns out I love them both. So you could even add hand sewing down the side if you wanted to. You could get very creative with these and make them as intricate or as simple as you really like them. So let us know. And uh, anyway, I'm going to I'm going to get off here and, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, ciao for now. Bye-bye.